Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is, uh, I don't know, let me go down here and see. February 20th of 2020. I just installed, this is Zorin 15.1 Ultimate. That's another, it's uh, Zorin Studio. So I installed it on my computer. I already have Ubuntu Studio. So I just installed this about an hour ago. And uh, I like it better than uh, Ubuntu Studio. So I have a dual boot computer. Um, already, uh, some things were on here working that I had to install with Studio. Uh, and OBS, I got it working uh, right away. At least I think it's working. We'll find out when I save and listen to this video. By the way, I think what I'll do is at the end of this video, maybe I'll put a bunch of still pictures of screenshots that I took with my uh, LX uh, seven camera from the screen. I'm not sure how they come out. We'll see. Um, so, uh, Zorin 15.1 Ultimate, which comes with all of the things that somebody needs who's going to be doing audio, video, imaging, uh, production type stuff. And I paid $40 for this. And a lot of I'm sure a lot of you are horrified because it's Linux and it should be free. And, uh, but, you know, Zorin offers several versions of the software for free. But if you want everything installed, you know, in one package that you can download or whatever, then you... Now they're at where you pay $40 for it. It used to be less, I think. Um, and I'm fine with helping out. Uh, I've been doing it ever since before, before the World Wide Web. Um, so this is Zorin. Let me give you a look, just a little bit of a look at it. Okay, now one thing, I had two monitors running here when I um, installed Zorin. It insisted on my 4K monitor being in 4K mode, and I, I didn't mess with it very long, but I couldn't get it to go to uh, 1080p mode. So... Uh, then I was going to hook up, and I was using one 1080p monitor, a ASUS. So I drove over the other 1080, an identical monitor, and I was going to have those two. And then I realized, okay, uh, one of my video outputs has to be uh, DPI or whatever it is, not HDMI, the other one. And those two monitors, neither one of them had... And they were identical. They did. They had HDMI ports and the old VGA ports, but no port for that. And I know I have someplace a cable that I think has uh, the port and goes down to I think an H. But I didn't want to bother finding it, so I did put the uh, 4K monitor back up here and put the other monitor away and. Uh, you know, just boot it up and then went to change it to, and it did a little easier than Windows does. And I just clicked 200 uh, and everything is working, you know, okay. Uh, as far as I know. Um, what else? Well, let me show you. Uh, 
you have a choice with uh, Zorin and the type of setup you want. Do you want a setup that looks like Windows 7, like Windows 10, like, uh, you know, so, or Apple, one that looks like Apple or whatever. I picked this, uh, so this also lets me show all of the software that is installed on here. By the way, Cheese works. Cheese has always worked. This is a cam, you know, it's a camera program. It's always worked with uh, Linux for me. But on uh, uh, Ubuntu Studio, I, I couldn't get it to work. I didn't mess with it much, but I didn't. I didn't really try to get it to work. I didn't go do a search for why. It, when, but uh, anyway, you see here, and cheese does work. I'm not going to click on it because I'm using, well, see, only one, only one camera. I might be able to click it, but I'm not going to risk messing this up. But you can see what's on here, plus more is coming. Um, this evolution is a mail program. I will probably just... Uh, use Gmail in the browser, or maybe maybe Thunderbird, I don't know. I may give Evolution a try again. Uh, okay, some of these things I don't know what they are. Some are games that I will uninstall. Green Recorder, I'm guessing it's a, maybe it tells you when you mouse over. No, it doesn't. So, uh, Now here's Kendall Live, and that's what I've been using uh, in Ubuntu Studio for uh, video editing. I don't do much video editing, but I'll probably try to use that here and put some pictures at the end of this uh, just for the hell of it. Um, as you can see, LibreOffice comes, of course, free with you know, with Linux. There's Maps. Uh, there's OPS, and it works. And uh, didn't have any trouble with the microphone. Uh, microphone seemed to, or audio seemed to be something I had a problem with when things get. Uh, I have to check this out. Pit B. Sounds like it shows a camera on it or something. Power statistics. Okay. Settings. And a simple scan worked right away. See, I had installed that. I showed you how in a video, how to install that, I believe. And it came installed here, and I just, in fact, I just copied something. There's a uh, friend of mine. We went to grade school together, and then we both went to high school together. Uh, his parents moved, though, so he only went to D.O.S. Military Academy for two years. But he went into the Army, or went into the, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I don't think he doesn't watch my videos. He went into the Marine Corps. And then when he came out of the Marine Corps, he got a Ph.D. He'd written a couple books, et cetera, et cetera. But he uh, really missed the ROTC high school, you know, Davis Military Academy. When, when his parents moved, uh, he didn't get into, or I don't know, his parents maybe didn't want to pay the money. He wanted to get into a Christian Brothers De La Salle military high school there, and he couldn't get in, and it's one of his regrets. Uh, but I've been... Uh, sending him some of our uh, alumni newsletters, scanning them, and uh, sending the, you know, the uh, PDF files or whatever to him. Um, let's see what else we have here. Virtual box, I don't think that was installed on, and utility, let's see, I know utilities was, let's see what happens when I, active, 
archive manager, characters, disk usage analysis. I haven't booted, by the way, into <laughs> Ubuntu. I hope it's still working, but you know, it really wouldn't matter because, uh, let's see what else is here. Uh, okay. One more, I think. So we're in appearance. Okay, here's, uh, here you go. This is one of the features of Zorin, so you can pick the type of layout that you want. As you see, I picked this one here. I may change it in a little while, but uh, that helps out people that I need to change this desktop. I don't like that. Uh, probably right click does that. Change background. I think that's probably it. Yes, okay, this, let's see, background. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take this, well, I'm gonna take this. Select, ooh, that's a little, I'm starting to feel feminine, starting to uh, not produce as much Male hormones, maybe. I think that'll work. I'll probably change it, though. So, um, well, let me do what I always do. Pull up for you. Uh, CNN, I guess. Just so you know, if you're watching this video um, a week from now, or a month from now, or uh, whenever you are, a year from now, or 10 years from now, anyway, I guess that's it, and stay tuned for hopefully some images unless I have trouble uh, using Kindle Live or whatever it is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I am very happy with uh, Zoran. There again, thank you for watching.